where to begin. What's up you guys, my name is Apprenti and welcome back to another video. Now, I have had a bit of a hiatus. Um, every video recently seems to be like, I'm gonna upload and then I don't upload for a month and then I upload a video to tell you why. And this one kind of, I do have an excuse for and a, like a legit excuse. So if you guys didn't see my last video, it was literally as I just got out of hospital, I was talking about why I was in hospital and what the next steps going forward were. Well, I'm still not fully healed. I can move my hand now and I can grab things and pick things up, but I've still got tingling sensations in my hand and my feet. I've still got a bit of weakness in my feet. Um, but in that last video, I said how I'd given specialist blood. So I was get, meant to get the results at the end of May. Well, on Wednesday there, I went to get my results. And when I got there, they're like, your bloods are normal. There's nothing. Why is my cat chasing her tail? Your bloods are normal. There's nothing wrong with them. You're, yeah, they're perfect. And I was like, okay, so does that mean you don't have a diagnostic? So does that mean you don't know what's wrong with me? And they're like, no, we do know what's wrong with you. We know what the problem is. And I have tried to record this video a lot. So this, if you can see, it's what I have. It says making sense of MS. So yeah, I have been diagnosed with MS. And in case you don't know what it is, I am gonna read the actual proper definition for it here. So MS stands for multiple sclerosis, which is a neurological condition that affects the brain and spinal cord, the central nervous system. Sclerosis means scarring or hardening of small patches of tissue. Multiple is added because this can happen in more than one place. MS is not a terminal condition, but it is one that will live with you for the rest of your life. It isn't infectious or contagious, so you can't pass it on to others. That is what MS is. Uh, so what does it affect? How has that affected my ability to make videos or to live my life and that sort of thing? It's basically my own immune system is attacking my own nervous system. It recognizes it or thinks there's something wrong with it and it tries to attack it to get rid of it. So my immune system is, it's like an autoimmune system de deficit, deficiency sort of thing. And it's basically attacking parts of my brain and my, my spinal cord and that sort of stuff. It's like, this shouldn't be here. Attack it when really it's meant to be there. I explained this in my last video, but if you think of like a flex, like a plug or a cable, inside it, you've got like the internal wires. And if they, that gets scratched or like cut open, it means inside those wires can go all over the place and like sort of cause problems like sparks or setting fires. That's similar to your body. If these uh, sort of nerve systems get attacked and damaged, inside all your nerves can flare out all over the place and cause the problems I have with my legs and my hand, but it can also cause other things as well. So it can cause problems with your speech, it can cause problems with your vision, that sort of thing. Now luckily I am going to be getting medication that will keep on top of things and hopefully stop the attacks. So as far as I'm aware I have the most common type which is relapsing remitting. I will get an attack and then that will be the attack and I'll have the effects and then I'll heal uh, and then maybe again in like another year's time I'll have another attack and then I'll heal that sort of thing. So that's the most common one um, which affects obviously you know, the symptoms that I've had, uh, and I've had twice now in the last three years. Now, obviously, as I said, I will get medication to, to keep on top of that, so hopefully it will stop attacks. Now, it can't really 100% pre prevent them or all, all those sort of thing, but it does help. I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what I've been diagnosed with. And I, as I've said, I've tried to record this video multiple times, and I don't know, I've just struggled. And I don't think I quite come to terms with the effects. Everyone around me seems like, oh, I'm sorry, and I'm feeling like, oh, that sort of thing like oh how are you coping i'm like i don't really or haven't yet had like a, a meltdown or anything be like oh my god this thing's happening because i don't see it as a as a bad thing maybe 10 20 years ago when all this sort of like research and stuff hadn't been done to ms to help sort of like prevent attacks had been done uh, and you know when you got diagnosed with ms i was like oh shit that's you know life-threatening whereas when i was obviously at the doctor's like you know if there's any time to be diagnosed, well, if there is any time to be diagnosed, because you don't want to be diagnosed with it, but it's 2019, there's loads of research into it, there's loads of medication that you can take. As I said, um, I will be on medication for the rest of life, but it will be an injection into my leg or my butt or all this sort of stuff. So I had the option of taking a pill, which has risks of like brain infection, or you can have the, just the stabby injection. I'm like, I want the stabby thing. I want to be cool. But yeah, it will affect me or, or will have flare-ups from time to time. Um, but I am going to get back to making content as best as I can. I do have a new job and it's great. I'm working for someone incredible, a guy called Dean Banks, who was on MasterChef last year, was one of the finalists. And um, he's opened up his own place in St Andrews. I'm there making cocktails and making cool little things. I've got loads of great ideas. I get forward to him and he loves it. He loves all the crazy ideas and all the local pro... My cats are proper fighting, they're proper scrapping. He loves all the crazy ideas and like all that sort of stuff that I'm putting forward and all the experiments we get to do. So um, I will obviously hopefully get to post videos from there as well and all that sort of cool stuff to come. So 
yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on on what's been going on. That being said, make sure you follow my Twitter, check out my Discord, make sure you drop a like on the video as well. Until next time guys, I've been the Prince Eye, and I'll see you in the next one.